Welcome back, witches. We are on video three in our five insane theories as to what caused the Salem witch trials. If you haven't checked out videos one and two, please do so now. If you've already done that, let's jump into the next one. Now, in the last video, we talked about the symptoms of the afflicted. And speaking of that, one lesser known explanation has been getting some traction in recent decades, and it also attempts to explain the cause of the Salem witch trials, but from a different angle. Linda Caporeal has floated a theory that explains the hallucinogenic, bizarre behaviors not just of the witch trials girls, but others throughout history. The culprit? Ergotism. Ergotism is caused by the consumption of ergot, a fungus which causes trouble when embedded in rye or other cereal grasses. When it's in there and it's consumed by people, it releases a chemical that is similar to LSD and may lead to hallucinations, muscle contractions, convulsions, and issues with the internal organs. She also found that ergotism thrives in weather conditions similar to the ones the Puritans of 1692 were living within, and considering the fact that rye was a staple crop of the Salemites at the time, this theory is beginning to seem pretty sound. Ever since it was introduced into the public discourse, I hear this thing every time I go to Salem. Well-meaning tour guides lead groups of people through Salem streets and let them know lovingly that the Salem witch accusers were all tripping out of their ever-loving minds. Unfortunately, there are some giant holes in this theory, namely that the symptoms cited as connected to the accusers and ergotism are kind of cherry-picked in order to make it seem like there's an obvious through line when there may not be. Ergotism, for instance, also causes gangrene, vomiting, diarrhea, and alteration to skin color, none of which were present in Salem. Ergotism is also super toxic to animals, it's known to thrive in places deprived of vitamin A, and it's also true that children younger than 10 are the most susceptible to the symptoms. Now due to the location and diet of Salem, there was plenty of vitamin A everywhere. Most of the accusers were in their teens, and there was no outbreak of symptoms among Salem's children apart from the youngest accusers, and there was no reported ergot poisoning or symptoms similar to the ones you would expect to find in Salem's animals at the time. So this whole Lucy in the sky with diamonds Puritan thing is looking kind of shaky. That's all for part three, which is please do check out part four and parts one and two if you've not done so already. Subscribe to the channel, get notified, yada, yada, yada. See you in the next video. Peace.